Hi everyone. I'm back and I'm going to talk to you today about care plan. What is it? And if you go to dearnurses.com, it's just packed with helpful information on that topic. So let's get started. We all know that when a patient is admitted to the hospital, doctor gives the diagnosis. We, the nurses, have a responsibility to create what is called nursing diagnosis. In other words, we work around the diagnosis of that patient given by the doctor and develop nursing diagnosis based on what the problems of the patient will be. I don't have to tell you, like take the case of this patient who has just had surgical intervention. One of the problems that she might have is post-operative pneumonia. And one of the ways to prevent it is working with this patient, educating her and telling her what needs to be done to prevent it. Post-operative pneumonia, we know that we encourage the use of the incentive spirometer. Here is a nurse who is saying, I need you to do some breathing exercises. And what does this patient say? She says, I do not feel like it. Well, it's not a feel like, don't feel like thing. It's a responsibility to avoid pneumonia. Here are some of the signs and symptoms of pneumonia. This, of course, should be prevented at all costs because it will delay healing. Fever, chills, uh, generally feeling sick, pleuritic chest pain, decreased breath sounds, especially in the bases, and decreased oxygen saturation. I don't really think we need to go through all that to find out that you know this patient heals via this complicated process. We can, of course, prevent it. One of the problems we can address is patient education. You need to talk to this patient, discuss with her the complications. Some nurses don't like to, but it is very important to let her know what could possibly go wrong so that she might work, feel the need to work on what she has to do. Next we've got the patient with deep vein thrombosis and deep vein thrombosis again another surgical patient confined to bed two days ago she hates wearing anything on her legs it is important for the nurse to explain why she cannot remove the stockings even if it doesn't feel right the nurse is saying what seems to be the problem she says i hate wearing these space holes it's not what you feel like doing it's what has to be done so sequential compression devices or ted holes special hose and equipment used to prevent deep vein thrombosis are both part of the care and again like we both we know we have got to do some patient education to help this patient understand why she has to wear these hoses just follow your doctor's orders follow your plan of care and do what is necessary to have this patient have a successful recovery then we're going to talk about the stroke patients and lately we've seen incidents of quite a few more strokes than normal of different age groups. When we have a patient who is in the hospital for a stroke, we know that there are quite a few problems that can be identified. So I've taken the time to let you... I just wanted to let you identify some of the problems associated with the stroke patient. So let's take a look. Mary had a stroke about two weeks ago and she continues to make good progress. These are some of the nursing diagnosis that she you would come up with. Altered level of consciousness, impaired gas exchange, impaired mobility, skin integrity slash nutrition, rehabilitation, fall prevention, seizures, and airway clearance. And if you would like to learn more, like I said, take the time to go to dearnurses.com care plan what is it and there is another topic there also care plan planning and patient education notice this patient in the right hand corner that patients who have strokes also have the potential for seizures there are also helpful topics on seizures that you might just like to take a look at so hope you've learned something from this have a nice day